The most important risk, of course, is denial of equal protection. This has happened in the past, and geneticists were involved in letting this happen, if not doing it in the past, and this is, this is we just not, cannot cross this line, and we have to stand at the line and hold the line as citizens and scientists in making sure that these activities do not lead to denial of equal protection under the law. Finally, I want to uh, talk a little bit about what I think the real impact of genomic sequencing will be. All these other things are quite uh, promising and exciting and dangerous and, and so forth, but the unexpected thing that I think is most likely to happen is that our genomic sequence will become an object of entertainment. I'm sure. Uh, I think people will exchange their genomes and will use the web and their iPhone to talk about what they share and don't share and whether they have the same alleles for the spheres and that's why they feel bad this morning, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and this will feed on the fact that the geneticists and scientists and doctors can't keep up with what they're discovering. And the popular community will have access to this information. They already do. And it will become a sort of common entertainment activity to share information about your ancestry and your genotypes. And there will be a huge growing of anecdotal uh, tales about what different genes do and what different haplotypes and genotypes are like. And it's no accident that Google invested strongly in 23andMe. They're not interested necessarily, in my view, in helping people with their health. I think what they're interested in is that people will be convinced that people with their genotype like that kind of soap, and that advertisers think that people with that genotype want to see that kind of advertising. And that's what it's all about, I actually believe. And that will be the most successful part over the next 20 years, I would say. Uh, the more importantly is as if it turns out that really the popular culture is a much more efficient processor of this information than the scientific community, then there could be profound effects on our perception of our identity, individual identity and group identity. I don't know exactly what, I don't know anything about this, but I have an uneasy feeling that this could be quite, uh, quite a big influence.